Hey gamers, Teddy from GamingOverdose.com here, and we're back. This is your weekly overdose. Starting things off, a new Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer provides an in-depth look at game modes and so much more. Since officially unveiling Star Wars Battlefront 2 back in April, every single piece of news to come out of EA has been met with unadulterated joy. First was the full cinematic trailer, then the first gameplay trailer, followed by a dogfight teaser trailer, the latest Battlefront trailer that is narrated by none other than John Boyega aka Finn provides an in-depth look into the new class mode systems, the different game modes and the increased amount of maps and heroes and of course the new single player story mode. All in all, it's another spellbinding 4 minutes of left waiting for November 9th with probably a little bit too much anticipation. Next up, Blizzard launches an official Battle.net campaign app. Yep, that's right, Battle.net is now even easier to access while away from home. Battle.net has come a long way since the days of making it easier to manage Diablo multiplayer matches. It also includes the host of social features, installs Blizzard games for you, and features Facebook integration. Now Battle.net has finally made its way to your smartphone with the brand new Android and iOS companion app. Revealed earlier this week on Blizzard's official blog site, the Battle.net mobile app brings the PC clients of social features to your smartphone. Outside of chatting with friends and checking what they're playing at the moment, the app is also supports mobile friendliness. While you're away from home, all you need to do is scan the QR code to create a friend request with someone who also has the Battle.net app. You can download the Battle.net app from the App Store and Google Play right now. Moving forward, Ghost Recon Wildlands PvP mode Ghost War is out in October. For the four people still playing Wildlands, Ubisoft has announced today that the Ghost War will be out October 10th, available for free to all players on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Now, the publisher plans to support the mode post-launch, promising new map classes and game modes. Ghost War is a 4v4 class-based mode that features 8 maps, 12 distinct classes. Each class comes with its own perks and weapons, loadouts, and are more immune to certain mechanics like suppression. It was first talked about before Wildlands launch, with Ubisoft promising a release later this year. Next month's fall within the window, but it may be too little and too late for the title. Next up, the new Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer highlights Dutch and other characters from the original game. Despite the numbering, Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually a prequel to the first Red Dead Redemption game. As such, it focused on the adventures of Arthur Morgan, a previously unknown member of the Van der Lundings gang during its heyday in the 19th century. And while the new trailer doesn't give many story points away, there are certainly references to the characters we saw in Red Dead Redemption 1. Check out the trailer yourself in the description box below and comment your feelings. Our last bit of news, Anthem will get a beta, but no time soon. The game that was the cause of the shitty Mass Effect game will be getting a beta. That's right, Bioware's answer to Destiny will get a beta ahead of its release. But then the release might still be a while away. Bioware has been pretty quiet about Anthem since E3 this year. The game director, Jonathan Warner, confirmed that the game will release a beta. This is unlikely to be a surprise to anyone, of course, games like this typically have beta periods. But judging from the comments on this tweet, some players are weary after Mass Effect Andromeda and want to try Anthem in advance. A beta for Andromeda was announced but then was later cancelled. He also confirmed that the beta is still a way out and could not pin down a date. This is understandable, when the game was shown at E3, it was said to be more than a year away, and we'll be looking at a late 2018 release date at its earliest. Anthem will be coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and it'll be enhanced on the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. And that's it for this week of gaming news. Drop all your comments and feelings for each story down below. Like, subscribe, and kick that bell icon to stay up to date on the latest in all things gaming. I'm Teddy from GamingOverdose.com. Stay gaming. Thanks for watching. Want more in gaming news? Join GamingOverdose.com social hub, where you can create your own profile, post your gaming achievements and highlights, and follow all of your gaming buddies while never missing a Geo News update. We are GamingOverdose.com, where the best things in gaming come together.